Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Gaming Quitter, the most delicious quitter of them all. The Dragalia Digest aired and we got a new shiny update, but the Digest itself is almost 30 minutes long and who got time to watch that, right? So let's digest the Digest and quickly run through the news so you are informed even if you didn't watch it. The first thing we were shown was the Gala Tregalia, which will feature Gala Zena. She's a 5 star light staff. We haven't seen much of her yet, except for the fact that she is absolutely gorgeous and I'm very excited. And yes, I will summon on the banner. There's a small note on a Gala screen that there will also be Mini, Mini, Eeny, Mini, Mini, Mo, I don't know, and Midgar Stormer Zero on the banner, but we will come to that in a second. Our favorite fairy Nod talked about different bonuses we will get with the anniversary. We will get up to 330 tenfolds starting very soon. The whole thing goes up until the end of October, so it may even go into the Halloween banner. On the same day the free tenfold start, we're getting a super duper deluxe Gala Tragalia. Or just a normal one with all Gala Tragalia adventurers and dragons. They didn't say if all of them are on raid up, but it would make sense. But, very important, Gala Zena is not on this banner. I repeat, Gala Zena is not on this banner. We're getting a new login bonus for the second anniversary, which will go on for 10 days. You will have a lot of time to snack these up until the end of October, but you should definitely not miss out on them. Especially not Mini Hildy, who is absolutely adorable. There's a Twitter retweet campaign, so if you have a Twitter account, go follow the official Trigger Last account and retweet the dedicated post. And also please follow me on Twitter, thanks, the link is in the description below. If you plan to spend money, these anniversary value packs are probably the best shot for your money in the game. In the next time. Check them out once they drop and if you can afford it, support the game if you love it as much as I do. But remember to only spend if you can afford it. There's going to be a lot of double and triple drops starting soon. We're even getting double drops for High Dragon Trials and Agita fights at the end of October. You will be able to collect double drops in Volk and Kayan. Kayan, Kayan, Kayan. Ah, you, you know what I mean, right? That's amazing and you should definitely use this chance. The social reward counter has been reset and you can get up to 2500 Vermite just by playing with other people. You cannot farm this with your friends though, you will only get the mites when you play with someone you haven't played with before. Okay, this is the thing I'm most excited for. The new raid event, Forgotten Truths, will start very soon. It's going to send Sethia back in time a thousand years where she meets Ilya, the person who is apparently our goddess nowadays, and her fairy guardian Mini. And the buff Midgar Summer, who looks really dope, will also appear and we're going to see what happened back then. I'm super excited for it. I really hope we will get Ilya as a free unit. She's absolutely adorable and I need her. And like I mentioned earlier, Midgar Summer, Zero and Mini will be on the same banner as Galasana once it drops. After Nod was done talking, Devin Mack, the voice of Dorant and Volk, gave us some updates about the new 2.0 version of Tregale Lost. That was actually a nice surprise to hear him. As you might have noticed, there's a new graphic style in Tregale Lost which has already divided the community. I personally really like the shadows and the black lines because it makes the units look more defined and the colors a bit more vibrant in my opinion. It takes some time to get used to it, but I really dig it. Tregale Lost finally has the spark him system that many people have asked for. This means for every summon you get one worm sigil. If you collect 300 sigils, you can select a unit of your choice from the banner if you still didn't get what you wanted. This will apparently not be available on all banners though, so be careful with your spendings. If you don't reach 300 sigils and can't spend them, they will turn into worm sigil remnants which you will be able to trade for various items in the treasure trade. The weapon and worm print changes are also live now. If you want to know everything about it in detail, check out my video where I explain the new system. The link to that is in the description below and on the top right corner of the screen. The Madman Okada actually went and changed over 150 adventurers in Trigger Last. Some got huge buffs in the dam damage mods for literally free. Like some units, I think Templar Hope, got over a thousand percent increase in his attacks. That's amazing. You don't need to change or do anything, they are just straight up stronger now. 
The community came together and created an amazing Google Doc which features all changes with the exact numbers, so if you want to check that one out, it's also in the description below. The Akito and High Dragon Trials got a nice update. If you want to play solo, it's separate now and it's actually a bit easier when you try and solo it. Some mechanics are completely left out or are easier to overcome, like the Blood Moon in Master Walk. I actually managed to auto Master Walk today. I sadly did not record it, but it's amazing and all of this makes grinding so much easier. You should still play co-op though, since the rewards you can get there are higher now, so it's still better if you, if you go into co-op. Oh, and um, the mentor bonus is gone. I really don't mind. I never understood why people would hunt for mentees and just get those extra mermaid. I was happy when there was a mentee, but I was never one of these people who just opened up rooms looking for mentees and kicking out everyone who wasn't a mentee. That was a bit annoying, I gotta be honest, didn't like that. Like I mentioned in my video about the weapon updates, we have guns now in Tregale Last. The weapon type is called Mana Casters and we actually got a free Mana Caster unit and it's the three star adventurer Joe who got a, another three star version. He has now a big gun who he shoots people with. He has an interesting kit and honestly guns are so much fun to play and there's also a new dojo that you need to upgrade so get on that. Cygames is going to drop one master difficulty after the other very soon. Ziela's Wrath at the beginning of October, Ayaha and Otoha at the end of October, and we will get Tartarus Master mid-November. And once November is over, an even bigger challenge will be added. Very excited for that one. When you overcome these new challenges, you can upgrade your weapons with cool effects. We're also getting new bosses in the upcoming future, but we have no news on that yet. Okay, we Fortnite now. The Alberian Battle Royale mode is live and it's basically actually what you would expect from a Battle Royale mode. You can select one weapon class, there's only a few at the beginning, but you can unlock more with the rewards you can get. There's also different skins that you can equip for the weapon type or rather different adventurers you can unlock. You will fight against 15 other players after being dropped on a random spot on the map. You can now collect whetstones on the map to increase your level and strength. Every weapon class also has their own weapon skill with different effects. You can find skills like reach and skill or a skill to poison your enemies on the ground and when en or when enemies drop them after being defeated. Like, like it's usual in a battle royale game, there's some miasma closing in on a random spot to make people meet and defeat each other. You can also shapeshift into a dragon. Every unit is currently shifting into a Midgar Summer, but I'm almost positive this will change in every season, so that's something to be excited for. I am not a huge fan of PvP in these games, but since you cannot grind a strong unit to bring into the Battle Royale and blast everyone away with it, since everyone starts with the same base units, it's actually quite interesting. You also get battle points when you lose, so even if you are not good at it, you can still unlock the rewards in the treasure trade by just playing. But please don't just stand around and spam stickers, that's kinda annoying to be honest, and I would rather actually play the game and battle other people instead of just defeating random puppets just spamming stickers or standing around, as you might have seen in the video I just posted uh, that you can see in the background. In the digest we also get a new look at main campaign chapter 16 to 18, which I don't really want to talk about too much for spoiler reasons. There's some new characters that we we'll see in this video and we're probably going to learn a lot more about the fairy kingdom soon. Um, in October we will get chapter 16 and after that we'll have to wait two months each until chapter 17 and 18 drop. Um, I'm very excited because there's kind of the hint that Nat wants to help Prince, which kind of it could mean that she becomes a adventurer unit, so I'm very excited for that. And well, yeah, after all these things, Okada, Yuji Okada himself appears on the screen and talks about a lot of the changes in Regalas for pretty much 10 minutes. There aren't too many more infos here, like he just goes into detail a bit more, um, but I don't want to talk about that in this video since I wanted to keep this as short as possible and it's already way too long. Whoopsie doopsie. There's new news on a new collab though, which is sad, but we did get tons of new stuff um, already, so I'm quite okay with that. And yeah, that's that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. My 
<laughs> quick summary of the Dragao Digest and all the new infos we got. I hope you enjoyed it. I really loved the new update even when I had to update all of my teams and I'm not even done with that. There's so many possibilities and I cannot grasp them all yet. I'm looking forward to what the future in Dragao Lost holds and yeah, as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe for more Trigale Last content. And if you want to talk to me or the gang, join the Discord in the description below. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!